surfing. Surfing is so much to so many of us. For some, it's a meditative practice, a place to connect with the ocean and find peace. For others, it's about community, being in the water with friends, social connection. It's a chance to play, a way to embrace the elements and experience nature. And for some, a highly competitive sport. It's no secret that surfing remains a male-dominated sport. It's not overt sexism, so to speak, but we are severely outnumbered by men in the water, and that automatically makes you feel like you're intruding on a community that isn't yours. All eyes are on you. As a result, women are discouraged from learning and feel as though there's no space for them. So we're here to say, make way for the water women. We all have our stories. These women surfing the Gold Coast of Australia have gathered together to share a few. Surf culture seems to have two opposing sides to it. One side of surfing is what is portrayed in the movies. Chill, laid back, barefoot, friendly. And the counter is this aggressive, selfish, competitive, gate-kept culture. Women throughout history have made groundbreaking progress in leveling the playing field in competitive surfing. This being said, unregulated recreational surfing has a long way to go. For the sake of these future generations, it's time to make way. Hi, I'm Erin Brooks. I just finished my heat out at Snapper and it was so much fun. It was my first contest out there and I'm super stoked to be on the Challenger Series competing with all these amazing women. I'm Kylie, I'm 38 and I live in Byron Bay. So I'm the founder of Surf Sisters Byron Bay. Um, I started this group about three years ago when I moved up here from another state and I couldn't find any women to surf with. Um, I knew a lot of men that surfed but I didn't know any women. Um, so I actually just decided one day I'll just start a group and I started it on Facebook and within about two days it had 300 people join the group and I knew then that there was a real need for this. So we started having a lot of community engagement from the women in Byron Bay and um, from this we decided to start making meetups um, and at first it was monthly meetups 
and then there became a real need for more. I had more girls reaching out to me saying, when's the next meet up? Can we do sunrises? Can we do sunsets? And I just went, yeah, let's do it. Hi, I'm Steph and I'm from the Gold Coast. Our mission is to get girls in the water and feel confident. Um, as most women know, it's hard out there. It's a male-dominated sport, and essentially, we just wanted girls to get out there, get out of their comfort zones, and be supportive in a safe environment. And that's really all Group Girls is. When we had our first group surf, I had no idea how many girls were going to show up. I would thought it might even just be me there with maybe one or two friends, but I was shocked and we had around 15 girls join us in our first group surf. Um, and now there's normally regularly about 30 girls that join us and it's just a really good group of people and everyone makes friends and you can kind of see from the group as well that not only are people coming here to surf, like people are coming here to make friends, like form connections and just have a good time in a supportive environment. Um, I think it's so important um, in this day and age for women to um, lean on each other and support each other in, in such, you know, an interesting environment. It's quite amazing when we get the girls out in the water. There's been days where, you know, there's quite a lot of men and they see us women coming out and I think they're quite taken aback actually. When I used to go out some breaks on my own without my surf group, I actually felt really intimidated when I was out there with a whole bunch of men. We just want to be one in the water with everyone. My name is Dina and I'm from Morocco and I'm 22 years old. So Tangier really doesn't have a surf culture. It's like very, um, it's definitely not a surfing city. And um, when I would go with my board, like holding my board, going in the water and people would look at me like, what is that? What is she doing with that? What is she going to do there? And most of the time when it will be big waves, I'll be the only one with locals. And I had like a lot of um, altercation with locals, like where they'll be really mad when they'll see that a girl that is Moroccan is catching a wave. Um, and has the priority on the wave and they don't have it. So they would just like sometimes get mad being like, go back to your home, go back to your kitchen, like do what normally normal women do because in Morocco, um, women are not doing this kind of stuff. In Morocco, the culture 
is women has to be at home doing the kitchen, taking care of the kids and doing the cleaning and being a good woman. But a woman doesn't go with like the man in the water and just surfing, especially on big waves. Like everything dangerous is not for a woman. Then the guys would be like, what are you doing? Why are you going there? Like you're going to get smashed. And I'm like, why? Is that because I'm a woman I'm going to get smashed? I always like, wet in big waves even though males like would be like oh no don't go there you're gonna get hurt and then I would still go there Hey, I'm Eleanor, I'm 19 and I, um, I'm from Cairns, so I moved to Gold Coast uh, two years ago. Um, I got a surfboard for my grad present, so I was pretty keen to get into it. Um, and yeah, I've been lucky enough to have some family here to teach me how to surf and I, I've loved it ever since. I definitely love surfing for the way it makes me feel. Uh, I, I kind of see it as a, a form of meditation um, because I'll go out into the surf and I'll just, my mind will be clear and like your only concerns are the, the sets coming through and whether you're gonna surf it or you're gonna duck dive it or whatever. So it's, it's almost like a simple view of life. I've enjoyed being, being active and being able to do something I love. Um, yeah, I love it, so it's great. I'm Kelly, I'm 26 and I'm from the Gold Coast. I've been surfing a few years, it's been just about two and a half to three years. So the reason why I got into surfing was during COVID times. During COVID, um, my mum and I were actually going for a walk on my birthday at Burley Hill and we were sitting there watching surfers. And um, mum said, why didn't I ever put you into surfing? And I said, yeah, good question. And um, anyway, I said, I'm too old to start surfing. <laughs> I was 20. 24, 25 at the time and she said no you're not too old I'll pay for surfing lessons for your birthday and yeah I got into it and loved it. <laughs> Hi I'm Judy and I, I'm 60 years old um, I'm from the Gold Coast. Um, I started surfing during COVID when um, my daughter and I were doing lots of hiking and walking and we saw surfers going down and I said, oh, you should do this. Um, and so I got her into it and then to support her, I'd hang on, come along with my board and I'll, you know, I can't swim. So, um, you know, I'll take my board and that's my flotation device and I'll just practice paddling and Kelly would go, mom, no one practices paddling. Like, and so I just, you know, got my board to support her, go along with her and kind of encourage her to go out more. And then, um, then um, I thought, oh, well, I could try the wave, you know, and then I started, that's how I got into it. So when I first started surfing, one of the things that I really noticed was the fact that there are a lot of male surfers and not as many female surfers. Um, especially when we started surfing the beach break part of the beach there would be times when I'd go out and I'd be one of the only female surfers in the ocean um, and then you're also at that time I was also trying to learn and improve my surfing but then you're still competing with um, all these guys trying to get on the waves um, so that was a bit of a challenge to overcome. <laughs> I've always tried to do some exercise, um, so I, I did running um, to the point where I something went wrong with my knees, and then I could only do slow jogging, and then I and then I did cycling, and because I can't swim, I can't do swimming. But then I thought, hey, wait, wait a minute, they're surfing, um, 
there's my flotation device. I can actually go in the ocean for once, you know, before I couldn't do that. In my adult life, when I got into surfing, one of the things I really appreciated was the fact that you can just be out in nature. Uh, my name is Carolyn. I live on the Gold Coast and I'm 61 years old. I started surfing two years ago. I've always wanted to surf. I used to skateboard and stand up paddleboard and swim and body surf, but I didn't have a huge amount of opportunity to surf. Uh, part of that is uh, that I lived in Darwin for the last 20 years and it's a bit flat and there are saltwater crocodiles and box jellyfish, so that doesn't really attract one to uh, the surf. There are lots of things that I love about surfing. It's something where you have to use your mind to work out what's happening in the surf. Uh, you have to use your physical strength instead of relying on motor or some other sort of technology. Uh, In my previous years, surfing was re really very much the domain of men. And if you were a female interested in surfing, it was something uh, like a political statement, uh, where on the Gold Coast, it appears to be that everybody just enjoys surfing. I'm Roxy, I'm 40 and I'm from Melbourne, but I grew up in Kingsford. I've been surfing about three, four years. I learned to surf up here and uh, living in Melbourne, quickly got into urban surf, which has been awesome for my progression. Um, absolutely love surfing, love being out in the water and I just have loved the community of people that I've met over the years of surfing, particularly the chicks. When I was growing up, surfing wasn't really a thing for women. It was only like a, a handful of women that went and yet there was hundreds of men that went. And um, I actually just never thought that I would be a surfer because I thought that's what men do. That's not really what women do. Now there are even like some girls on the tour, on the world tour, Moroccan girls. And it just makes me so proud to see that. It's just like very inspiring as well. So whatever your reason is for chasing the surf, listen to it, because the ocean belongs to all of us. So make way.